Hey, what's up? I'm Ben. This is Loki. And this is fun with foam. Just playing, it's not. But uh, we will be discussing on how to make a muscle suit, like the one you see behind me, using simple techniques and supplies from your local stores. All right, so stay tuned. Roll the intro. What's up everyone? Hey, thanks for uh, staying tuned. So today we're gonna talk about how to make a muscle suit. We're gonna turn this into this. All right. So let's get after it. If I can find the button. All right, first things first is supplies. So first thing you're gonna need a nice athletic t-shirt. Then I'd recommend getting some of this 3M 77 spray adhesive. It works great on attaching the muscles to a t-shirt. And then regular pair of scissors, Sharpie. I like to use the fatter one just because it seems to work a lot more, a lot more better. Paper. Simple paper, notebook paper, printer paper, some pens, pencil, and some foam. This is one inch foam. I got this from Walmart. I don't really know how dense it is, but it's called Project Foam. There you go. All right. Hey, now that we got all our supplies, we can get started. So I like to start by outlining my muscle groups that I want to make. I usually do this by putting a t-shirt on and drawing lines on the shirt so that I have a template on where I'm going to place the muscles that I will be soon making. I like to get these ones with the nice little holes in the arms so that I can keep the fabric nice and tight when I attach my muscles and when I'm outlining them. Now I got this shirt from Goodwill for four dollars. Why not, right? As you can see, I've already outlined them because this is not the first take. Sorry you guys missed it. It was fantastic. So I got the Sharpie, popped it off. And since I'm using the little screen on the camera, and I just go down, I wanna make sure, get my belly button. That's a good reference point. Under pectoral muscles, abdomen, that's just drawn. You can always figure that out later, depending on who you're actually trying to make or what kind of muscle suit you're making. You can make them big or small. That's up to you. Now, I also like to start with my deltoid right here, this little pocket. I like to start right here and go around, marking out to the lowest point, and then also get bicep and tricep. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just the estimation. Now, to get the back, you're going to want some help. So or you can just lay it down and do it that way. Next step, make it the templates. Get a little blank piece of paper and you may or may not need tape. I just grabbed some just in case. So let's make the pectoral muscle, why not, right? I put the paper, I try to make it even on the chest, you know, as best as I can. Tape it on there. Now I'm doing this from the screen. So, bear with me. All right, now that I've got my line, I'm gonna determine how far I want it, how far down I want it to go based on my, my body. So I'm gonna guess right around there. And I'm gonna take it over there, all the way to the side, and also right here. Now, your chest muscle wraps around the side just a little bit. Let's cut it out. Now templates don't have to be perfect. You know, you can have rough drafts. So don't get upset if it's not perfect. You can always adjust. So, here we go. First shot, look at that. Woo. Now, I'm pretty happy with this. Let me just, and I like to label them because I always lose my pieces. All right, so I usually put a T on the top, I put an M in the middle, and then a B at the bottom. Because, you know, once you throw these in a pile, you don't really know which way to go. So I got it right there, and then, boom. I got, I got two pectoral muscles. Now, if you need references, just Google anatomy, 
And hey, it's up to you. They don't have to be perfect. They could be how you design it. It's up to you. All right? All right, bicep. All right. I got my little tape up there. Put it down. Now I'm just drawing in around the muscle. It's a rough draft, so I can cut it down. Here we go. Now put it on. All right. If you're happy, great. If you're not, redo it. Now I did the left side, so I like to put a big old L on there so I don't lose my pieces. Now the best thing about it is part that I marked on, if you flip it, you got the other side. So you only need to make templates for one side. That's the basis of making a template. Now, we got our templates, right? All we need to do now is trace those templates onto foam. Now, I like to utilize as much foam without wasting any as possible. So, I grab my Sharpie. Trace my foam, and boom, presto. Using these regular scissors, little crafting scissors, nothing special. Just make sure they're nice and sharp. And I go at it. Now, I like to work with smaller pieces, so I like to do a little rough cut before I go back and make everything nice and smooth. Now, there's a few different ways that you can cut muscles. So, I got all the edges. Then I can go back, you know, trim it up. All right, so there's two methods to making your shapes. So, you can either go ahead and start cutting, boom, 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 cut it, cut, 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 or you can do an undercut, which is, here's the top. I'm gonna go in at an angle, 45 to 30 degrees, depending on how big or how prominent I want my muscles to be, okay? So, 45, you know, one inch foam, they get pretty predominant. Now, if you wanted to make it bigger after you had already cut the foam piece, then you can either add another layer of the same thickness or, you know, add a thinner piece. So you can either layer it or cut and undercut to make the muscles bigger or smaller, depending on your preference. But here we go. Going at it. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because the underside is going to get glued down. We're gonna go over that. I'm not gonna glue this piece on, but I'm gonna show you how I do it on my other ones. So here we go. See the slight little angle? Here's a regular piece for comparison. How it con goes inward. I call that an under cut. So this is the top, this is the bottom. So it has a little slight angle going in. Now, when you place this on your body, I call it the fold over method because as I attach glue to the sides, I attach it and then I roll it over so that it, when it attaches, it has no, you cannot see the underside. It's nice and flush. All right? Let me show you an example on mine. Now, we take a look at mine. Here's the bicep. Here's a pre made piece that I was going to show you how to attach it, but here's my bicep that I created. Nice, clean edges. I doubled it up because I wasn't happy with the shape, so I went back and put some more on. So we're going to be attaching this piece to this suit. That's the next step. Now all these little trimmings that you get, I would keep these so that you can make yourself a, a duct tape dummy. In the cases of making this, by myself, I can either wear the shirt 
that I'm uh, attaching these muscles to, or I could put the shirt on my mannequin, which is, I did a little bit of both. So when I was making my muscle suits, I was like, hey, how am I gonna attach these muscles to the back without help? So I made myself a little duct tape dummy with the assistance of my beautiful wife. And it was hilarious. But here we go, using the same techniques. Oh, nice piece, nice cuts. For this piece, I don't want it to be so predominant with a one inch while I fold, so I'm actually going to cut this one inch piece in a half. So what I do, instead of having you know, one inch rule, half inch rule, 10 millimeter, five millimeter, I just go the edge, make little cuts, make sure that I'm staying midline all the way. So that equal on both sides. Now the underside is not so important. That's the side we're going to keep going down, which you know, we'll see after we go down, so it doesn't need to be perfect. So just be aware of that. So I'm showing that, so all you gotta do is make sure sharp, make sure that you're cutting halfway down. Now that I made it a pretty, Decent way through, I just pinch off. And voila. See the underside might be a little ugly, but the top side is nice and smooth. So let's measure this piece with our muscle. And check it out. All right, that's a good fit. I'm happy with that. All right, same technique, 45 degrees. I like to get it right here at the top, and that's where I like to go in. All right there, make the cut, boom. All right, now that I got my piece cut out, all we need to do now is Glue it on. All right, we're back. So I go outside when I use this glue just because it has a strong smell to it. But here we go. You'll know when your piece is ready when you can pick it up with a touch of a finger. Now it is really sticky, so when you do apply it, you wanna make sure that you're getting the edges where you want them. And placement is key because if you don't get it on the spot that you want it, uh, pulling the foam piece off may tear your piece a little bit. So when I attach my piece, I always like to start on the edge and then work my way around. So just make sure you orient your muscle in the right spot and I start on the edge. Now I like to leave a little space between each of my muscles so that when I do move around, I aren't, I'm not ripping or tearing anything, but I like to just keep it nice and tight. Start on one side and fold over. Now if you look at that, it might be a better angle. All right, so I got one side on. Now I just make sure that when I'm applying to the next piece, I'm very aware of where it's going. And if I need to, I can move it out of the way because the foam is not as thick. I like to straighten out my arm, make sure there's no wrinkles when I do it. And then just make sure all the edges are neatly push down and there you go attached nice and clean take a look at that and that's it Hey, thanks everyone for tuning in. I just want to say thanks for watching the whole episode. So if you like what you saw, like, subscribe. I'll make some more videos coming out soon or follow me on Instagram. Link's at the bottom. See you in the next one.